What is love? So I'll say uh, love with all the craziness that's going on inside the world right now. And you can come home to a safe place, come home where, you know, someone's there to support you mentally as well as, you know, with everything else going on and, you know, just feeling that you are supported. That's what I feel like love is. Um, love to me really is just waking up, having the person right that you love the most right there next to you. Um, just always having a safe space where you can go to. Um, someone that's not really going to judge you. Someone that loves you the most. It's just taking care of one another, really. Mm -hmm. Just just being there in a the moment. I think that's what love is. And being happy. Yeah. You, just make, you bring me a lot of joy. And you definitely, you know, always calm me down with everything that's going on. Yeah. And you know, you just make me feel me. And, you know, I just feel so comfortable and safe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just, I just find it funny because I remember um, when we had first met, <laughs> she would not give me the time of day at all. <laughs> it was just like, like, who's this boy always bothering me? And it's just really just showing her, like, how the true gentleman that I was and her because I remember you <laughs> you did not um you did not give him the time of day you just like have all these walls up barriers and it was like going at each other throats all the single t every single time and I remember just being remember um staying at uh what was it what is it store? no not van store it was um, we was in the library together oh yeah sophomore year we was in Mar we just got a marching band practice and I asked you I say so, will you be my girlfriend? And next, you know, we just sit <laughs> right there in a cubicle at the library, and you just sit in just a whole hour. <laughs> yes, I was just, just looking at you, contemplating, like, you know, so. like, because oh, I'm just, you know, very, you know, cautious, and you know, I just didn't want to get hurt, and I was just trying to think, you know, yeah. am I going to take this risk of, you know, possibly getting my, you know, my heart broken? But I did it. And he's been loving me, and I've been loving him ever since. Yep. Look where we at now. Yeah. Married. Five years in. So. Yep. And you, you better be a whole doctor out here. Yeah. You graduated and <laughs> got your master's, and about to finally get life started. Yeah, I can't wait. Go back up to North Carolina and just be us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When do you feel most loved? I feel Sorry. Uh, most loved, like. When like when you there like the quality time, yeah. Um, I, like the love languages, like I like honestly we got married pretty young, so like you know we're still pretty young and we're still learning each other as well as ourselves. And um, recently I learned that one of my own love languages is touch, and usually it isn't. But, you know, we just grew and grew together. And I realized that, you know, that's one of my new love languages. Yeah. So um, I'll say, you know, although we got married pretty young, we just got a chance to, you know, grow with each other. And, you know, just watching us grow. Like, you grew a lot <laughs> since 2013. Mentally and physically. Yes. I just got wider and wider. Um, <laughs> <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Uh, feel the most love, really. Um, it's just the quality time spending with each other. Like, um, granted that my job it took me to North Carolina, and you're still in school down here in Alabama. I love the, you know, the, just the flexibility of coming back down. It's, it's like when I'm away from you, it's the hardest time of my life. I can't. It's hard for me to um, function at work. It's hard for me to just. It's just hard to be a, a regular person. And then when I come, when we're together, it's just like. A fresh breath of fresh air. Yes, a breath of fresh air. It's just it's just so happy to be back. It's just I just love the quality time. And then, you know, every time we uh, I come back and we link back up and we always gotta hit all of our hot spots back in Montgomery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and coming back down to Dothan, we said we wanna drive around to see where you know, where our whole life started. It's just straight out of college. Yeah. We came down here to Dothan, went back up to North Carolina, came back to Montgomery <laughs> yeah. and now we're going back to North Carolina. It's just being together, I just love it. Yeah. That's that's where I feel the most love that. And then like it's crazy because like uh, Dothan is kind of where we started. Yeah. 
Like we were <laughs> fresh out of college. Like yeah. we graduated in t- 2017, and then we both moved down here in Dothan, and this is kind of where everything started. Like he got his job down here, and honestly, if it wasn't because he got his job, I probably would have never known to even apply to Alabama State for my DPT program. So if it wasn't for you and coming down yeah. here, who knows where I would have been right, right now. That's either where we would have been. Yeah. If we didn't have a job down here, just to start us off, I don't know where. Yeah, so Dothan was st- the stepping stone. Yeah, and now we're just out here just being, just living life where we can go. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I remember from when we was in um, Montgomery um, at church that one time, the pastor said, wherever you go, I go. Wherever I go, you go. And I just think that really speaks to our relationship our marriage all the time. and I love it because I need you by my side I need you by mine yeah I'll always be my real <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so how do you guys make your marriage last communication <laughs> <laughs> I communication think communication for sure we we do a lot um really just communication um because I remember we used to always just be at each other's throats a lot and a lot of times it's just a huge misunderstanding and a simple communication goes a long way um another thing i personally like to do is i am a jokester i play with her non-stop all day just messing with her i mean it's it's never a boring moment with us and it's just jokes all the time <laughs> that's just because you see how she's smiling that's what i like to see <laughs> well he knows what to say and when to say it and how to say it all the time it just makes me feel you know happy and like he just knows when I just need him to crack a joke and just to make me smile and um, for us we we also try to do like these men- like mental health check-ins so I'll be like Rob how's your mental health today yeah. and then we'll talk about what's going on today and then you know but with the crazy news and everything that's going on like we just need to constantly check in to, to each other because mental health is a really serious thing these days so we try to do mental health check-ins just yeah. to see how we're doing alongside with our mental health check-ins as well um you know we're both busy with what we're doing with my job and with your pt school it's like whenever we come home we at least spend an hour away from everything like our phones books we just talk about let's say how was your day today what's what's something you learned what's something <laughs> What's something you learned? What's something new that you did today you thought was exciting? It's just those random check-ins every day. It's just really good because everyone needs to unwind, decompress. It's not always have to be on go 24-7. Mm-hmm. It's okay to stop and smell the roses every now and then. And, you know, I preach that to you all the time. Because yeah. you going through school, it's, oof. Yeah. I remember it's, it's been a long three years, but you're almost there at the, at the end. Yeah, it's so, almost done. I know. It's, and then it's, everything's going to be great afterwards. I just know it. Cause I know I got my road dog right here next to me. <laughs> so I know it's going to be, it's just going to be fun. I can't wait. So it's just, I think that's really what all we just do. We just, just spend time, communicate, crack jokes all day, every day, you know, just be us really. It sounds like you guys, it's like you guys see each other. Like it's, is that what you think we'll call it? Mm-hmm. Yes. It's yes. Just, yeah. I mean, it's just really, it's just the fact that just like, I see you there and I just want to, I, I just like talking to you. It's just like, I mean, obviously, it's a person I want to spend every day with, and it, it hurts me. Like, when I just leave for one day, I'm like, dang, right. I ain't got nobody to talk to. FaceTime don't help at all. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like, it's, I can see you on the screen, but I need to see you next to me, like how we are now. Exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, your job as hybrid right now. Like, we try to do, like, two weeks on, two weeks off. And like, you know, those two weeks, it's like the longest two <laughs> weeks ever. Yeah. So like, luckily we'll be, you know, done with school within the next two weeks and then we'll finally be back into our own rhythm yep. and we'll be back to normal once again. Yes, we can just find, I'm, you know what I'm saying, we've always been tired of going, moving around all the time. We can yeah. finally sit still for once and then when I got my new job going back up to Charlotte, it was just like, yeah, we got the rhythm from when we was in Montgomery, 
But now we just have to change the cadence and go when we go to Charlotte. Mm -hmm. It's just at least this time we'll be together and it's not gonna be far away, two weeks on, two weeks off, because those are terrible. Oh my God, I can't do that no more. Yeah. Look, this is the <laughs> last time we gotta do this. I mean, come down to Alabama and, but I don't care. I travel for wherever you need. You already know that. <laughs> what does it mean that for, like, for y'all to have each other's back? Man, it just feels amazing, you know, to have a partner who's there for you yeah. no matter what. And that's like the biggest thing, like knowing that you always have someone there for you, no matter, you know, what's going on. Like they mm -hmm. could have, like you could have all your things going on at work, yeah. you know, but at least you are always there. And same thing with me. I got, you know, other stuff in school, but I will always be there and I will stop what I'm doing, no matter what, to make yeah. sure that you are good. Yeah, it's, it's, that's, that's a thing with us because we always make sure that we have each other's backs. It's. Because it's been stressed, like life is already stressful enough. And I know I, I heard a quote saying, Your partner is your partner in life, really, because you're not supposed to fight the world and your partner. You're supposed to fight the world with your partner. Yeah. So we like to live that, live through that mantra every day. It's like, what is like, at the end of the day, I know I always have one person with me when there's a the whole world against me. And as we know, life. Eric for African Americans is already hard in the world. And you just don't want to fight the world with your partner. I mean, you don't want to fight your world, the world and your partner. You have to fight the world with your partner. Okay. So at least that's why I know I always have this person with me. Yes. <laughs> and you ain't going nowhere, so. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. I love you. Uh, it's just, I don't know what I would do without you. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about that every day. Yeah, every single day. <laughs> I don't know how how I would make it if something were to happen to you. I feel like oh, well, let's not talk about that. my heart would be ripped <laughs> out of my chest. <laughs> I know I could not survive if something were to happen to him. So how did you guys know, like, because like, you guys are young and, like, you know, on the outside, because, you know, I'm in a totally different age group from you guys, but it just seems like, you know, like, you guys, you guys get it and y'all, like, locked in and y'all embraced it. Like how you know what I'm saying like where people I don't know seem to fight it or er, people seem to be like so selfish and it's so me and mm -hmm. like what made that connection for you guys? Well, I feel like I knew he was the one because honestly I just could not see myself without him and that was like the biggest thing like I just could not see my life without him and that's kind of how I knew that he was the one. I just could not imagine life without him. Yeah, and kind of growing up, the type of person I, I am, it's just the fact that if I like it, I'm a one and I'm a keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say it like that as property, but I'd say like, I I saw this lady, I liked her, and it, you can see all these videos from when we was in um, band back in college. You always see me and her gravitating towards each other. We leave practice, she's always with me. I remember people used to joke around and call her my shadow, <laughs> or I was your shadow, yeah. either or. Where If you saw her, you saw me. Yeah. And I don't know, it's just, we always had the most fun together. It's just like, I mean, band really brought us together. I don't know what would happen yet when the soccer line stayed. I would never met you. Yeah. I love you. at <laughs> I'm glad they played that one song for you to come to A&T, and that's, I know. And I'm I glad you're here, so. <laughs> Thank God, like, I just remember, like, meeting you the first day of band camp. Oh, boy. And I was like, <laughs> he is going to be something else. <laughs> I just already knew it, because he was a jokester. He was always, you know, that one freshman. And I just already knew, like, he was going to be trouble. And then next thing you know, here we are. Yeah, we're in trouble together now. Because um, <laughs> I remember it was just this one video our freshman year, and they were just doing a, um, it wasn't a day in the life of the band or something. It was, they were just doing background shots before people go to Honda. And you next, you know, I see this video of you and I'm sitting there talking to you and you sitting there like, oh, okay, can you leave me alone? This boy talking way too much. And I was like, and I just kept on leaving in. I'm like, come on, hey, talk to me, please. And you was like, okay, can you back up now? Uh, nice to meet you. And I was like, you would not talk to me. I'm like, yeah. well, hello. I, I mean, I just wanted to. <laughs> I'm your future to... here. 
<laughs> I just wanted to be sure, you know, and I just, you know, and now I am. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Patience is key, I can tell you that. Yeah. I was persistent. I, I feel like she's going to be mine. Yeah, you were very persistent. <laughs> very. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh boy. She, well, she's going to see me. I ain't. I'm not the type of to beat around the bush. You're gonna see me in my true form when you first meet me. So, <laughs> you're right, you're right. Go ahead. <laughs> Consistency too. Yeah. I'm the same person yesterday I am today. You're right. But there's only one person you wanted to want to change for. So. <laughs> Did y'all have a good role model like marriage wise? Like y'all have like role models or you know what I'm saying like. Yeah. Um, tell me about that. Like what or maybe like what the expectation was. Like what you thought marriage was gonna be like versus like what really what marriage really is like. So my parents are traditional, <laughs> and um, yeah. I mean, growing up, I kind of didn't want to, you know, be the typical, you know, old school marriage. So I already knew that that's kind of not the type of marriage I wanted to have. But like, I at least, you know, knew how much my mom and my dad how they, how they loved each other. And I definitely admire them and how much they love each other. So yes, I did have pre pretty good role models. Yeah, I had some good role models as well. My my parents, it was just always nice to watch them. Um, maybe not as traditional as your household may have been. <laughs> um, you know, kind because of, I know my mom, she'd be like, I'm gonna do this, I'm independent, I can do this. And my dad be like, can you calm down please and let me do this? <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like I'm the same way like that. I mean, I know you can be independent as well, and I'd be like, all right, you can go ahead and be independent, but you know you're gonna end up asking me for something later. I said, I'll let you work, I'll let you go ahead and do it, but then here you come, Rob, can you help me? Yeah. <laughs> but it's, well, I, I definitely, yeah. towards the beginning, I was, I'm gonna do this by myself, I'm gonna do that, but now it's like, if, let's do this together. You know, since you wanna do it, so yeah, let's go ahead, <laughs> just go ahead. Yeah, and I remember um, when we was in college, I was like, can I drive your car? And you're like, no, my daddy said, no, I need to drive my car. <laughs> now I look at you, a passenger princess. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, I know we didn't answer the question, but yeah, I just went, went to my own tangent, but it was just funny. I'm yeah. kind of old school as well, too. Be like, you know, I'm the man. I'll help you out all the time. I do X, Y, and Z. I mean, I just learned that from my parents and from my grandparents as well, too. Mm -hmm. So I think we have some good role models, both mm -hmm. of us. Mm -hmm. But we, the one thing I know for sure, we know that what we saw on TV is not always right. right. The whole fairy tale wedding, fairy tale marriage, nothing ever goes wrong. Boy, they always say the first year is always the worst. And then, I mean, I know we we had got first married. It was like, all right, we still learn each other. And they always say you never learn somebody until you first live with them for six months. I think we was at each other's throats in the first six months. We're like, oh God. Trying to get used to how you, <laughs> you did things and how I thing mm -hmm. I remember he, I still remember how one time he got mad for making sweet tea a certain way I'm like <laughs> it's sweet tea it's just going to stove going to in a yeah, pot whatever. and you got mad he's like we supposed to throw ice in there so I'm like it's just sweet tea it don't matter whatever. And I'm like <laughs> it's just trying to see it's just learning each other yeah and learning our backgrounds because I remember how we made certain types of food I I know one thing. We I made macaroni and cheese a certain type of way. Michaela made macaroni and cheese a certain type of way, and I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that. I didn't grow up on that. And then we combined our ways, and now both our families they yeah. love our macaroni and yeah, cheese. They it's love the it. Best thing ever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's just something like that. We always say that kind of describes our relationship because yeah. she brought a little bit of something. I brought a little something as well too, and we combined it together. It's the best thing ever. Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah, was perfect. <laughs> I know if yeah. that was just something like that because. You know, we just like to cook and then let you know everybody loves what we do. Yeah. And that's just our relationship. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Y'all are funny too. Y'all got it old souls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, we've been told that before. Yeah. Definitely me. You got an old soul for real. Yeah. <laughs> so, because for us, like, we especially like me, like where I grew up with my mom and dad, you know, parents married and then, you know, he grew up in a single household, parent household, so it was like, well, I know what this is. And then like for us, like to get up and realize like actually what we thought we were seeing was good or like trying to apply like what our, what our folks did, did work for us. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
It was like, yeah, give the kitchen to cook. What, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a di different generation. You you learn from where, you learn from what you see. And if you see something that you don't like, you're going to try your best not to be like that. I know I told you multiple times, I don't be, I don't want to do X, Y, and Z. Yeah. And then you actually hold me accountable saying, didn't you just say you're not going to do that? Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like I do the same for you as well. You say, I want to do this, Rob. I want to do this. And I'm going to be right there. Think, okay, I'm going to hold you accountable. Don't be mad when I hold you accountable. Exactly. <laughs> Can't go back on what you say now. Exactly. And I feel like that's also what makes you a great partner is that like you always, you know, hold me accountable. Mm -hmm. And as well, I try to hold you accountable on things too. Yeah. So being consistent and, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't give up at it. So we always work together because if you say you want to do something, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure you do it. Mm -hmm. To make sure, and because at the end of the day, it's just going to be for both of us. Right. And, you know, don't have I have no problem trying to help you out, invest in whatever you need to do. Because I remember uh, when, as soon as you said, Rob, I need a PT table, the same two minute, 20, 20 minutes later, I went on Amazon and ordered one for you. So you can go ahead and start working inside the house. And I, I feel like I'm the a practice dummy for everything now. <laughs> yeah, you ain't putting no more needles in me. I ain't doing that no you more. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, my favorite part was when you started doing spinal manipulation and then you started cracking necks. I said, oh, yeah, I'm about to be, I'm about to be the loosest thing ever. I love it. <laughs> you look crazy. Everybody say, I got somebody, I, um, you can work on me anytime. All you do is just call me. I don't mind. <laughs> it's a nice relaxation. I just need to open up a, need to put you on Instagram for a chiropractor. You know. Oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all are so cute. <laughs> okay, last question. And that is, talk about your experience with short set photography. Oh, man. You were the first person that we met in Dothan. Yes. And consistently, st not the first person, but consistent, cons the first person that we consistently talk to every day. Like, you... You helped us out for our engagement photos. You helped us out for the wedding. Yeah. You about to help her out for our pictures next week. And now we're here again. I was like, Keisha, um, yes. when Michaela had texted me saying, hey, Keisha wants to do us a, a photo shoot, um, the video. And I said, okay, you know, I'm going to be there. I would try my best, see what I can do with my job. And we came on down. I said, yeah, Keisha, basically family at this point. Yes. <laughs> like the quality, like the service, like everything is just amazing. And uh, everyone tells me uh, the photos from the wedding looks like it came from a magazine. Like, they just love it. I get so many compliments. I definitely would recommend short stuff photography for everyone. Yeah, <laughs> everybody loves the pictures that you've done for us because we have um, those pictures from our engagement photo, um, from our engagement shoot on our wall. And mm -hmm. everybody comes around, that looks so nice. Yeah. Like, who did them? I say, oh, this short stuff photography down in Dothan, Alabama. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We wear a wire. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. I, I don't know if y'all saw, but I actually have y'all album on my shelf in here. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I love y'all album so much. I oh. duplicated it. Awesome. Yeah, take a look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I felt like people know that, like, when you work with photographers, they put their best foot forward, right? Mm -hmm. And they showing you the nice pictures. And it was mm -hmm. like, well, what does the whole day look like? The whole, You know what I'm saying? So it was like, okay, well, then here, here's an album where you can look at that don't just show you, like, this curated story that I'm telling you, but you can see from start to finish of the day, like, what it looks like. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I love, well, this is a, you know, it was supposed to rain that day yeah. for a wedding. Was it? It was supposed to. Yes, it was to. supposed to rain. It was a 90% chance of rain, but next you know, it just turned hot <laughs> and dry. I just remember yeah. it was so beautiful. It was. Yeah, it was beautiful. It was still humid. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, everybody was sweating. That being, um, being here. Yeah. <laughs> remember them um i remember we had them, them fans made for programs yes. and we pulled up we just see them fans are flapping <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who, yeah they did right down it's very nice they did so three generations right there right. they used to be my example of um we all had the bride on the wall with the little champagne bubbles yeah, yeah. <laughs> I look good. I don't know about you, but I look good. I what? <laughs> wow. I can't believe this was, what, five, 
four years ago. Four years ago. 